Anyway, I'm going to restart this. I messed up on the first, first time. Okay, I'm going to show you how to fix paprika chicken. I got right here, I got some egg noodles cooking, cooking in the pot, in the pan. Cook them according to directions on the package. Over in the skillet, I've got butter in it, melted, and almost skinless chicken breast. Fine in it. This is pretty easy recipe. Made that all the fuck. Cook a little bit, flip them over. Hang on, man. I gotta go find out what the hell the dog just did. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this camera on hold. Alright, I'm back again. Gonna be spending more time finding out what the cat and dog is doing. I am in it on the camera right now. Put them over. Let's stick them over. Red pepper on it. This side too.
Let me cook a little longer. You want to get a nice brown. So what you want to do is just put when you got them in this butter. Get them nice and brown. Both sides. Mm. Let me flip them over one more time. And you want to add a can of cream of chicken with it. I mean, if I haven't opened up another can, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Open up another can of cream of chicken. It ain't quite enough. Small can, it's not quite big enough. Oh man, it's just one can, I got them cold in. Nah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add another can. Let me put you on, I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute. So I can get another can of chicken noodle, cream chicken soup out of the cabinet. I'll be right back. I got me another can of cream chicken out. Out of the cabinet. There it is. Not quite enough. The one can went quite enough. Spread it. Spread the chicken soup out. Oh, your chicken breast.
I'm gonna add a little bit of old base seasoning to this. Now that I got with the soup. What you want to do with it now is just let them cook in the soup until they till they're done. Until they finish the chicken finish getting cooked. You want to make sure you get your chicken done. One thing, when you cook chicken, make sure your chicken is cooked early. If you uncooked chicken, you might cook the chicken and not cook completely. Yeah, it can make you suck. I got food poison one time off some chicken. Believe me, it's not fun. But the chicken I cooked is chicken we got from KFC. We got from KFC one time. Now it's sick in our dog. Yeah, I was sick of the dog out all night after I ate that chicken with KFC. Do poisoning and chicken not cooked properly is no joke. Looks like noodles are done, so I'm gonna shut them off. Let them sit there. You just gotta make, let them cook long enough you can get the chicken done.
they should be done. It should be pretty much done now. Now what you're going to do is... If I can get a hold of it. Get up and show it. It's a sour cream to it. Sour cream in with your soup and chicken. Let this go. Okay, we don't want to do that. Let this go. Probably five, ten minutes to hold it. This sour cream bit's good and hot too. Was it? Flip them over one more time. Cut them back up, cover the side up with your soup and 
sour cream mix. Okay, I'm gonna pause the camera for a minute and be right back. Alright, chicken's done. We got noodles on the plate. Here's a piece of chicken. And put them on your noodles. Okay, I got a little measuring cup I'm going to use to dip some of the sauce out with. Just bring it over and pour it over on you. Pour it over your chicken and your noodles. Get some sauce out of the skillet with the chicken and pull it over your noodles and your chicken It's a simple, easy recipe for paprika chicken. I hope you tried it and enjoyed Tomorrow's Easter, so I want to wish everybody watching this video a happy Easter. I'll probably see you on these videos tomorrow. I doubt I'm going to... This is going to be my third video I'm posting today. I doubt I'm going to do any more today. I'll have a happy Easter.